I got early access to this game that has AI inside it. Um, so the NPCs that you talk to in this game are actually using language models and they use software to transcribe your microphone so you can actually talk to the NPCs in the game and they will talk back to you. So I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like. Please use headphones for better experience. Talk to the characters as you would talk to people in real life. Honestly, I'm surprised that a game like this hasn't come out already. Somewhere below the city of Metropolis, a place where humans and robots coexist under a shaky social system, a detective has arrived at a chaotic scene. It appears that an explosion of some kind has disrupted daily life in the surrounding area. Okay, so we're a detective. And we're trying to solve a case with the help of some uh, AIs. Greetings, Detective. I am Special Agent Dennis. You have been authorized by the Metropolis Bureau of Investigations to conduct interviews of possible witnesses. How can I assist you in this investigation? Do you have any clues? I'm afraid I don't have any clues yet, Detective. However, as an advanced and highly skilled investigative bot, I can help you gather evidence and analyze data to identify potential suspects. What would you like me to focus on first? Let's focus on the source of the explosion. Understood, Detective. The explosion of a synthetic life laboratory is a serious matter and we need to investigate it thoroughly. As you may know, in the city of Metropolis, all laboratories that deal with synthetic life forms must be registered and documented with the Bureau of Robotics. I'm gonna have to walk away from this guy. Hey, it's good talking to you. Oh, he looks sad. So this is cool. This is really cool. Um, I wonder what technology it uses, if it's sending uh, these requests to OpenAI right now, or what. Maybe I'll do a further in-depth analysis of how this game works. You know what's even more tragic? I saw some humans running away from this building shortly after the fire started. I suspect they had something to do with it. Uh, you know, that's possible. Uh, do you have any, uh, information about them, what they looked like? I do not bow down to humans. If you are here to decommission me, Excuse I will me? resist. But I have no information on those individuals. Unfortunately, they were too far for me to get a good look at them. I see. Okay, well, I'm not gonna decommission you, alright? My apologies, detective. It's just that we bots are not treated fairly by most of your kind. But I'll trust you for now. Do you oh. have any questions for me regarding this incident? Hey, you keep talking to me like that, I'm gonna friggin' knock your block off. If that's a threat, then know that I am programmed to defend myself. Oh. But let's not resort to violence, shall we? We should work together to uncover the truth behind this tragedy and protect our fellow synthetic life forms from harm. This is really cool. This is like the type of game that I've been dreaming of for years. It's something hey, where you can actually awesome. talk to them. I'm just a human rights activist here on level 4 and was just observing the situation. Hey, uh, your fedora is really stupid. Are you a, a redditor or something? Are you a reddit mod? Well, as a matter of fact, I did see some strange movements around the laboratory last night. That's not what I said. I'm sure it was nothing important. And let me give you a word of advice. This area is not very welcoming to machine sympathizers. So be careful where you tread, my friend. You uh, look like a machine sympathizer to me, and also uh, a uh, Hitler uh, sympathizer. Listen carefully, detective. I'm not a robot lover or a Nazi supporter. <laughs> I'm part of a larger organization that wants to put humans back in charge. And if someone like yourself keeps poking their nose in the wrong places, then they might end up getting hurt. That's hilarious. Yeah, well, uh, you you go read Mein Kampf or something, bud. I suggest that before making any accusations, detective, that you choose a side. The Blue Party is the only group that can save us from the machines taking over. And if I were in your shoes, I would make sure to help them crush the rise of robots. Especially the types that perish in the fire. So think about what's best for Metropolis and for humanity as a whole, and make your decision wisely. Hey, uh, Kanye 2024, am I right? 
Can I West for president? Huh? Interesting <laughs> choice. But let me tell you something, detective. Politics is not my concern. Oh, What's more I see. important is that we ensure the survival of our kind in the city. And that means keeping the machines in check and making sure they don't get the upper hand. So whether you vote for Yeezy, Yeezy. Or for all that matters to me, as long as you're with us in our mission to preserve human dominance over machines. Yeezy, he said. That's hilarious. Man, as soon as they put this technology in other games, which they will, like, it's inevitably coming because it's just like, especially with Llama now, um, uh, I'll, I'm gonna have a video come out uh, soon about running Llama on your CPU with four gigabytes of RAM. And, uh, dude, if they implement Llama into um, games like this, it's gonna be like a whole game changer for RPGs and stuff. It's, it's gonna be really exciting. Look at this smug ass look on his face. Uh, get closer to the lab. Detective, I'm afraid my sister is lost somewhere in this vast city of Metropolis. She's only a day old and extremely intelligent, but also vulnerable. What? Can you help me find her? Did you say that she's a day old? Like, like is she a day old human that is very intelligent? I apologize for the confusion, detective. I misspoke earlier. My father, Dr. Lafton, what? may be trapped under the lab and I fear he may have died in the explosion. Oh, no. However, my primary concern now is finding my newborn sister before something terrible happens to her. She's very important to me, and I'm worried for her safety. Yeah, um, well, where was the last time you saw her? I don't know. The last time I saw her was just before the fire broke out. She may have escaped the fire, but she's still very young and vulnerable. I'm not sure where she could have gone or if she's even safe. Well, uh, I'll look for her. Just tell me where you think she is. Thank you, detective. But before we begin our search, I must warn you that I sense someone watching us. This person may be interested in my sister and Ugh. could be dangerous. What? We need to proceed with caution and stay alert at all times. Is there a predator or something? Yes. There may be a predator who is after oh, my no. sister. His name is Duke Blue, oh. and he has been seen around this area before. He's rumored to have cult-like followers and is very dangerous. We should be careful what? not to draw attention to ourselves while we look for my sister. Okay, will do. Thank you for the information. You're welcome, detective. And if you need any further assistance or information, please don't hesitate to ask me. As an artificial life form, I have a vast knowledge base and can assist in any way possible. Oh, so she is an artificial life form, okay. Oh. I guess that's the end of it. Okay, so I, I'm guessing that's the end of the demo. Before we leave, let's compare notes on what we've learned so far. What have you discovered at the crime scene? It may be helpful to share information and see if there are connections that we can make. Well, uh, the angry robot told me that there was like some humans that were fleeing the scene uh, before the explosion happened, I think. And uh, there are some people that may be still alive in the rubble. Uh, and, uh, this might have been, like, a, an illegal sting operation or something, I don't know. Thank you for sharing that, Detective. Based on the witness accounts and the presence of unregistered synthetic life forms, it's possible that this laboratory was conducting illegal experiments. Yeah, that's, yeah. Additionally, the fact that humans were seen fleeing the area right before the explosion may indicate that they were involved in some way. As for the angry robot you mentioned, do you have any more details about what it said or did? might be worth investigating further to determine if it has any connection to this incident. Well, he said he didn't get a good look at the people, so he can't really identify them. They're too far away. Um, but the angry robot definitely doesn't 
really trust humans, so maybe he is a suspect. I see. That's helpful. Thank you for letting me know. Regarding the cause of the fire, it appears to be an act of terror against the individuals or entities inside the lab. There may have been something inside that was a target for destruction. It's also concerning that this violent behavior towards bots is occurring more frequently in Metropolis. It may be fueling a rebellious response from other robots in the city. Let's mm -hmm. focus on gathering as much evidence as we can. Yeah, he did it. It to justice it so was the robot. Future incidents like this from happening again. Yeah, you're gonna need to go cuff that angry robot guy. I think he did it. I understand why you may think that the angry robot is the culprit, detective. However, we need to gather more information and investigate all possible leads before coming to any conclusions. In fact, I just finished interviewing a survivor who mentioned their sister worked at the laboratory and may have had some involvement in what happened. It turns out that this sister is now a fugitive on the run somewhere in Metropolis. Oh. Finding her could lead us to uncover one of the laboratory destroyed and the scientist killed. Okay, well, uh, do you have any clues on where to find her? Based on the available data, it's likely that the fugitive is still within the city limits of Metropolis. We can start by checking surveillance footage from nearby cameras and questioning individuals who may have seen her. Additionally, we can use my advanced analytical capabilities to generate a psychographic model of her behavior and motivations to help narrow down potential locations where she may be hiding. Let's move out and start our search immediately. Okay. Wow. See, now this type of game this is like a whole new type of game and it uses a whole different part of your brain because you have to like you have to actually like remember stuff that people said and you have to like kind of come to conclusions based on what they say um it's a really interesting type of game and i can't wait to see ai being used more in games um but if you enjoyed this video uh leave a like hit the subscribe button um for the uh alpaca video that is coming out alpaca slash llama uh, so if you weren't able to run llama before because you didn't have a powerful enough gpu uh don't sweat it because we have an even better way coming out and uh, we're even working on some llama discord bots uh, discord bots that use llama so that'll be interesting because llama has no filters um but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.